Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a cool effect to make your color corrections look more interesting. It's essentially the squares effect that you see some people use. Um, so to use this effect, what you're going to want to do is take your clip and put it in your composition. And you're going to want to pre-compose the clip and make sure you choose this top option. And what that does is it allows you to use the clip with the color correction and just have it all kind of hidden away inside of it so you don't have to deal with it. You can uh, sync the clip or add more effects or whatever like after the fact and your color correction will stay the same. So once you've done that, once you've pre-composed it, you can come right inside of it and now you've got a new composition, adjust the clip. And what you're going to need to do is duplicate it two times and I'm just going to take off all the audio and what you're going to want to do is on the top clip, add CC Threshold, and then on the middle clip, you're going to want to make it a Luma Mat to the top clip. Let's go ahead and click Luma Mat. If you don't see that, you just got to toggle switches. So, now what you've got is this clip Luma Mat to this clip, and you don't see anything yet, but now is where you can start to add the effects, and you're going to want to add them onto that middle clip. So, go go ahead and go to mosaic and I'm gonna to want to change it to about 30 I guess maybe 20 okay that looks good so you got your mosaic and then next up I'm gonna add some fine edges and you always usually want to invert that and then I'm going to make it blend about, well, first I'm actually going to, I should have done this sooner, but we're going to make the middle clip an overlay option, or an overlay mode. Okay, now that looks a lot better already. Now, we can see, um, we'll just blend our fine edges in with the original about 50%. And uh, you can add, also add on CC Threshold RBG. And you can play around with that a little bit. And get it to look cool. And right there looks alright. And so that's pretty good right there. Um, the only thing though is that everything kind of looks a little bit choppy. And now we're going to fix that. So we're going to go to that top layer and we're going to add some blur and that's going to fix that and so uh, that's how you make your color correction more interesting with squares um, you're basically just going to need to change around the threshold right here on different clips because as you can see like when it's really bright or when it's not so bright right there and then he comes inside and you've got all these squares on the screen so it's one of those color corrections that you just kind of have to change around from clip to clip and maybe throughout the clip sometimes um, you know there's a lot of threshold involved so thanks for watching and come back next time for more tutorials thank you